More on the mission and China space program. Let's go to Keith Cowing. He's a former NASA scientist and editor of NASAWatch.com. Uh, Keith, welcome to the program. The crew of the Shenzhou 13 is younger by, what, five or six years than the previous Taikonauts who returned to Earth last month after spending three months um, in, the, in the space station. Does age make a difference here when you're spending more time in space? They're, these uh, Taikonauts are going to be spending six months in that space station. I don't think so. And yesterday, William Shatner, who's 90 years old, went into space. So I, I think it's more of a matter of your skill and training than age. And I think you'll discover that as uh, more people visit China Space Station, you'll see a greater age range. So, but, but, I, I, but Keith, come on. William Shatner went out there for 11 minutes. We're talking about six months. And, you know, these guys are about five, six years younger. But at the end of the day, you're saying it doesn't matter. It really does. I, look, I'll be 66 in a couple of weeks. There are people who have been my age who have gone up and lived in the space station. Uh, on, on one hand, you're a little older, but you know more. But on the other hand, it's a lot easier to move around for us old folks. All right, so let's talk about Wang Yaping, 41 years old, will become China's first female astronaut to work on this space station. Talk about the significance. Uh, and what kind of preparations will she be going through, if any, with just what, less than 48 hours to go before the launch? Well, when you build a big space station like this, uh, you need to uh, go outside to hook things up. So this is China's following the, a perfect game plan here. In terms of being able to do this work, um, I'm absolutely certain she's done many hundreds of hours of training in a large pool with a mock-up of the space station. But at the end of the day, it's just, it's a lot of training. And uh, also, we had an issue with the U.S. where two women wanted to do an EVA and they didn't have the smaller spacesuit. So uh, note to NASA, uh, make sure you have spacesuits that everybody can wear. And I hope China's doing that. China hopes to have the space station up and running by 2022, by next year. How doable is that? Oh, uh, based on the progress so far, it's completely doable. And China has had a number of successful missions in space, Keith. What do you make of all this? And really, what does it say about China's growing capability in the space domain? Well, you know, it used to be that it was just uh, the U.S. and the Soviet Union, and then other countries joined in. But for many years, it was a, a two-country sort of slow-motion race. Now, everybody on Earth has the ability to get into space, whether it's small satellites or, in China's case, a world-class space station. So um, this is the second functioning space station. It's not going to be the last, and there will be more. So as we say here in the States, the more the merrier. I think everybody welcomes China's capabilities up there. And hopefully there'll be cooperation between both space stations. And when it comes to the Shenzhou 13 mission, what are you going to be looking out for? What kind of tests? What kind of experiences? I mean, um, tests and um, uh, it, it, what kind of test experiences are they? I'm obviously having trouble talking today. Are they going to be doing up there? Well, you know, it's interesting when I see the, the images inside the space station, it looks very familiar. I helped design the International Space Station, so it's very familiar to me uh, just seeing how it's laid out. And the tasks involve making sure that everything works, that it's plugged in properly, that the experiments work, and each crew prepares the way for the next crew. And as you've mentioned, this crew is going up for twice as long. And I would expect that the next crew may go up for the better part of a year. So. Again, China's following the standard space station uh, game plan here, and I just look forward to more of it. 